Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast from meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. Well, we're just looking, and uh, so far we haven't seen <clears throat> any school delays, but uh, there's some pretty thick fog out there. So between Currituck, Edenton, Ahoski, you got about a quarter to a half mile visibility, a half mile in Virginia Beach, one and a half mile in Wakefield, and a mile in Suffolk. Gets a little better around Hampton up to Saluda, but still the fog is beginning to form there. So we got some clouds, some fog this morning, temperatures in the 40s, lots of moisture, that's for sure. There's no doubt about that. And then uh, this afternoon, well, we'll see quite a bit of sunshine with just a few thin clouds, and it'll be beautiful out there. Matter of fact, we might even go full on sunshine there for a bit. High temperature 51. However, the wind is going to pick up out of the northwest. It's just beginning to pick up out of the northwest right now because this area of low pressure is moving offshore. It's not strong, but because it's moving away from us, that'll allow those winds to pick up. That'll dry us out as we go through the day and clear us out through the day. But the temperatures, they're going to be kind of held down because of that. So low 50s for highs in Norfolk, 60 in Wilmington, 50 degrees in D.C. And then watch down to the south. There's going to be some big-time warming happening over parts of the deep south, 70s and 80s between Oklahoma City and Dallas and even 70s in Jacksonville. We'll be in the low 50s here. And uh, not too bad around New York and D.C., 40s, but we're going to stay in the 50s or near 50 degrees up through Wednesday. And then we'll hit 60 going into Thursday, and we'll cool it down again by next weekend. So Super Doppler 10 radar is quiet right now. We don't have any rain, but a couple of sprinkles are possible near the coast. So other than that, we'll have our clouds this morning, some fog, but the winds start picking up, and so that helps to mix out that fog through the late morning. By midday, we'll be partly cloudy, and then going into the afternoon, we're going to be mostly sunny. We'll have a lot of sunshine. It'll be looking pretty good, but we've got that northwest wind, so that'll keep it on the cool side. Now, here's 6 o'clock. Evening commute weather looks okay. We'll have clear skies or mostly clear skies. And then overnight, we're going to hold on to clear skies. But those temperatures, they're going to drop down to the 30s. So tomorrow morning is going to be colder than this morning by maybe 5 to 10 degrees, maybe a little more than that in some places. Tomorrow through the day, well, we'll have some high, thin clouds streaming in, but a lot of them. Let's say we'll have some filtered sunshine. I think it'll be decent out. I'm going partly cloudy all overall, but uh, here's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, winds will turn a little more southerly. I wish that would warm us up, but I don't think it's going to do it. I think the clouds will be uh, too thick for that. So today, 54 in Ag's Head, 53 in Elizabeth City, clearing skies, winds out of the northwest, 5 to 15 miles an hour. Some of the gusts will be up to 20. 51 in Norfolk and Portsmouth, 50 in Virginia Beach, low 50s in Chesapeake and Suffolk, and then we've got upper 40s in Melpha, Matthews, and Hampton, 49 in Gloucester, 51 in Newport News. Again, clearing skies. Humidity's dropping. It's going to go from high this morning to low this afternoon. Winds out of the northwest and sunrise 718, sunset 506 p.m. Tomorrow, highs near 50, partly cloudy, and then 52 on Wednesday. We'll be near 60 on Thursday, we'll warm it up, but then we'll cool it down as the front moves in on Friday. Lots of rain on Friday, and then we'll be dry and chilly for the weekend.